Welcome back to the Huddle on Fox 2, brought to you by 956sports.com and powered by our friends at McDonald's. Don't forget to like us on the Facebook. Give us your feedback on the show. Time to get to our one great feature. It's the Selber Spotlight, in which we give the Doc a moment to educate us all a little bit more on Valley High School football. Doc, what do you got for us? Well, the spotlight today turns on history and the past. Uh, last week, or I guess two weeks, I was at PSJA, and I got a chance to attend the weekends of festivities honoring the 1962-63 Bears, a team that I'm sure you've heard great things about yes, in the sir. past. You know, the football was great. It was nice to recount the fact that that team did something that very few teams have ever done, which is go back-to-back to, back to the state finals. And it's an amazing accomplishment. They did it through three district champions, got to the playoffs, I mean, got to the, the final game, lost twice, but a wonderful team. The football was fine. The reunion was good. But what struck me the most while I was watching, and while I gave a short address, which I suppose we'll, we'll hear a little bit about, uh, was the fact that we don't know today who the people are that are playing, the teams that we have right now, that someday will be that group. Fifty years from now, there's going to be a team of people, of young people, who make such a difference in their community in football and in life that they become honored like that. Here's the key fact. Here's the key stat, if you want, for the spotlight. Ninety-four percent of those guys on that football team, there's like 40 or 50 guys, got college educations. And of the people who didn't, they're very successful professionals. So the model, the lesson is going forward is kids enjoy high school football because time flies. It goes fast. You do the best you can to represent because one of these days, we're always watching, everyone's watching you. One of these days, maybe you'll be the team that 50 years later they say, come on back because we want to honor you for being great people and great football players. Now, as I say, at the Hall of Fame, we brought out a lot of numbers, right? We're talking about, okay, 113 teams in 90 years have gone to the state finals back to back. That's pretty incredible, really. It's only one or two a year. And in this neck of the woods, I mean, you know, Quero has done it. And... Uh, Corpus has an honorary membership, like I told you, 5960, but it was different schools. It was Miller and Ray, right? Uh, you know, there aren't too many. And I sat and made a list the other day of these schools that have gone to state finals back to back. It's fascinating. I mean, PSGA uh, will always stand in history as a team that made it all the way two years in a row. That's just not supposed to be done, people. It's, and it was. That's the incredible part. Dr. Greg Selber dropping a little knowledge, knowledge on us about PSA and of course me being the proud I was about to say I don't want to throw that in but I appreciate the love towards my uh, my bears love there. the tri cities man those people are great there's some very good people out there we'll come back with more of the huddle right here on Fox 2 you know I've been doing this 40 years it's about